Welcome back to another preview for PC Hoops with Coach Kim English. I'm Paige Messier and I'm here with sports reporter Sam Knox. Let's get started. PC, they played Xavier this week and you could say it was a must win if they want to do anything in the postseason. They won 79-75 to on the road. Sam, how big was that win? Huge. Uh, they lost to Xavier at home. Um, and it wasn't by a small amount. So to win against them on the road to really show some some guts and Kim English has just done a fantastic job with this team. He continues to show that. Jaden Pierre was great. Um, he had a season high for points. So it's just it's a huge win, a huge confidence booster. It gets into two games over 500 in Big East play, uh, and it comes at a good time here. Now they have a break. Uh, for they get six days off with no game uh, as they prepare for Marquette on Wednesday, um, this next upcoming Wednesday. So no games this weekend for the Friars. So a huge, a huge win for them. They get to go back, look at some good film that they put up against Xavier on the road uh, in an environment against a really good coach and Sean Miller and the, and the Musketeers. They haven't really been uh, to their standards this year, but PC going to get a road win, and especially in the Big East, it's not an easy feat. So uh, props to Kim English and his group for picking up another win. Yeah, and you say six days off. It seems to come at the perfect time. Ticket gains is obviously hurt. But to go back to just some players, we talked about Josh Oduro a lot in the beginning, Devin Carter. Now we're hearing more names. Jaden Pierre, ticket gains. He had a huge block at the end of that game. How big is it to just get more players involved? Now we're hearing different names, not just those two top ones all the time. It's massive, and it kind of creates a little bit of a mystery for the other team when they don't know who's really going to get the ball. Of course, Devin Carter and Joshua Duro are going to get the majority of the touches, but when you have other weapons outside, like Pierre, like Gaines, um, and hopefully once ticket gets fully healthy, he can contribute just a little bit more like he did a little earlier in the season. But when you have guys that can really score and different guys that can score, um, let's take the Villanova game on the road, for example. Only four guys scored in that game. So Villanova knew what you were coming in with, and it was Devin Carter and Josh Oduro, essentially. So when you have Jaden Pierre really stepping into some shoes of, hey, I can be the scorer um, and I can be a scorer consistently, um, especially... Um, as, as a point guard and a leader. He wants to be a leader of the team, a leader on the court. The point guard is essential for that. So um, it takes a little bit of weight off Devin Carter and Josh Oduro's shoulders when you have another guy that can really score uh, consistently. Yeah, for sure. I think we saw that in Butler, too. Mm -hmm. Just They didn't expect what to come because Josh Oduro was out and we saw a lot of other players step up. But to wrap things up, like you said, a week off. They play Marquette on Wednesday. A great team. They have Tyler Kolick, who is a Rhode Island native, great player in the Big East. They won the first time. It was their Big East opener at home. They won 72-57, to 57, so it was a huge win by a big margin. What do they need to do this time around on the road now to beat Marquette? I think they need to remember what they did well in the game. Of course, they were home when they defeated Marquette. Big East opener, they did a good job. Uh, limiting some of their players. Oso Igadaro really wasn't that much of a factor in that game. Kolick will be Kolick. He's going to be good. On the road, it's going to be tough, but I think that they can't let that get too much in their head. Of course, the Friars haven't been great on the road, but that's, I'm emphasizing again how big that Xavier win was on the road because then they're like, okay, we won on the road here. Why can't we do it here against Marquette? Marquette's going to be a challenge. They're further along down the road. They found themselves as a team, um, and you know, it's going to be a tough game no matter how you slice it. You know, this conference is, is tough, um, any, game, any, any team you play outside of, you know, DePaul and, and maybe Georgetown. But, yeah, Marquette's going to pose a big challenge, but they got to remember what they did well in that game and kind of push aside home court or being away. Uh, they got to remember what they did well in that game, and, and seeing them earlier in the season, it will pose a little bit of a challenge because there's been a lot of time in between games. For sure. Exciting stuff coming up. It's going to be a big final stretch for the Friars. You'll see a recap of the Xavier game and also a preview to Marquette on Sunday at 1030 on PC Hoops with Coach Kim English on Fox Providence. Thank you, Sam. Pleasure.